what we've been working on today. So Dean can shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. That's how we treat all our customers. <laughs> shut up! Yeah. Unless it's payday. Nice people. Nice. Okay. Real nice people. So we got the gaskets on here. The anti-squeak gaskets. And we got the anti-squeak rubbers on this edge here. On the inner fenders. Then there's two more pieces that go here. <coughs> there's one that goes here, we gotta put some holes in it. And then there's yeah. another one that goes here. So it just stops everything from squeaking. Rad support, cross piece, crossbar, whatever they call it. Um, yeah, so the inner fenders are going on. What are you guys talking about over here? You guys are screwing up my video. Doing, doing this thing. This thing that I got perfect yesterday? This extension thing. Do you want to explain what happened here? Dean decided to French the headlights in on this car. Yeah. Then he decided that because this is a factory Pontiac thing, it sits back here, he wanted to move it out so it would be less obvious that he actually did something. So he's going for the very subtle touch. Yeah, otherwise but, it would look dorky. Yeah, but the problem is, the problem is that some people don't understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need the right part. Are we we need the right to do part, it. not a part of <laughs> something to make it fit nice. Because what Dean did was he kind of cut the inside of this out. It should be filled in. He kind of squished it down because it's hot metal. And he said, well, this kind of, that's the idea I'm going for. Because obviously as this contour, as this gets lower, it goes in more. Yeah. So he kind of cut this out and squished this thing. So he said, there, there's the idea roughly. So now we're working off this thing, it's roughly. And I said, well, is this what you're going to use? And he's like, no, later on I'm going to build something for here and have it chromed and put it on. Well, you kind of need the part to do the bodywork yeah. around it. What do you mean? You, can... you can't just fabricate something to a phantom part? No, Is that like, what you're saying? I want to put custom taillights on my car. So do the bodywork on my fenders, make sure they fit the yeah. taillights, which I haven't brought you yet. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm you... sorry, Dean, we're picking on you right now. Are you? He deserves it. He's blonde. Uh, no, I could, well, I could cut a round hole, square hole, a triangular hole. I cut any kind of hole you want. <laughs> stop, stop it. Stop right now. But anyway, that's where it's going. But the, it, but Dave has done a beautiful job. Look at yep. with what we've got. So and now it's up to him to make something perfect. Yeah. And then and there's then Steve. Wow. Make sure the other well, side matches. Yeah, then there's Steve who's walking in here. I hate primer, man. Wear a mask. <laughs> Everybody in the videos is complaining uh, that you... Not me, Steve. No, Steve you was too. in the video. I know he was in crap. the video, but you have been in other videos where other people ones, have said... Other ones, this one they really picked on, Steve. I know, they were like, why don't those guys wear masks? I want on YouTube so they quit bitching because I don't want to see any more of these fucking write-ins about it. I supply all my employees here with dust masks and respirators, but they choose not to wear it, some of them. Yeah, I got mine outside. I see? wear it and I'm outside. Yeah, yeah, and I got yeah. my respirator I can't breathe through anymore. They do have them. They choose not to wear them. So yeah, well, I can't I breathe through my respirator through anymore. So clogged up. Well, maybe you should get some new filters, you cheap bastard. That's because you leave it sit on the shelf and don't wear it. And it gets full of dust and shit that you create not wearing it. Oh. Okay, this is turning into a rant video now. That's right. Okay, I'm going to go outside because you said Steve was doing some spectacular work out here. Actually, I'm going to go the other way because I don't want to go through the primer. Yeah, you can see. I showed him how to separate the deck lid. You can show him all about that. You showed him how to separate the deck lid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any... I know. Do you have anything to say about that, Steve? I showed him. Remember that, Steve? Why are you showing a great idea of how to mark drunk engines? Oh my goodness. Oh, here comes Casper, the friend of the ghost. He's so white. <laughs> yeah, wear a mask, would you? Okay. Steve, you want to meet me outside and I'll do a video on the uh, trunk lid? He's not listening. I'm going outside. All right. Away from the chaos and the chatterboxes. You think women are bad? Jeez. All right. So, the snow is finally melting. That's the last pile of it. This was all ice as of yesterday. It's been like two weeks of just chaos and deep freeze. I gotta go turn this music down. Might have to edit this out so that I can not get tagged. K-I-S-M.
All right, so back to the 36. Oh my goodness. They separated the skin from the inner. I haven't seen this yet. So here is what Steve's done. So he's got the, look at this. He's got all the diameters so that the, there's no distortion. Oh, that, okay. Yeah, what we're separating here. Yeah, this is the, okay. This is the inside of that, basically. This is the, the inside, inside skin. of the trunk lid. Yeah. And you this separated it because. This is the outside of the trunk lid. Trunk lid that fits on the car. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, since it was so rusty, and I couldn't get it the inside to fix it, I separated the lip and then took the inside out of the outside. Yep. And now I'm fixing the inside. So all of this lip here was, was what was rotten? Well, yeah. This is insane. That's so it was the, all like in here. That's, that's all. Yeah, that's the piece I cut out. Okay. Putting a new piece in. Okay. This is the piece in here that I already did. This guy here. I put this in. Yeah. Because that was this, which is full of bondo. Nice. And I couldn't get to it. Yeah. So I separated it. Okay. And wire brushed it. And now I'm going to chop it into pieces and put some good metal in. Cool. That's pretty it cool. Just, it takes time. Yeah. It's not a rush. You can't rush on this stuff. That is all kinds of awesome. So you're obviously going to have to fix all this oh, kind yeah. of garbage too. That all gets chopped out. And all of this. Yeah, I just brought it out right there. No, not that one. The one with the roll off. No. Dave had it. No, I do actually. I do, I do, I do, I lie. All right. So this is the other truck that was brought in. Uh, this is, um, what the heck were we doing with this one? I think it was just getting it running up and running and stuff like that because it hasn't been on the road for quite some time. And I believe it's a lady who owns it. And my favorite part of this truck <laughs> is the door panels. Little flying pigs. And then the seat is the same way. It's got little flying pigs, and I love it. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, so we're getting this up and running. And then, what else have we got? The charger is on hold right now. Uh, because he hasn't picked a color. And the Pontiac is back from paint. And we are going to get all the trim back on there. And it's going down for the vinyl top next Tuesday, I believe. So... Um, I'm running out of battery here, so I better cut this off before it cuts me off. And we'll do a better video on this Pontiac um, before or when it comes back from uh, getting the top on. But anyways, it's back from paint, and it's looking spectacular. Okay, talk to you later. It's always a good time at old time.